I am so excited to be able to bring you this update today. Moat has just been integrated with Google Forms. So I wanted to do a quick walkthrough about how you can get started with Moat and how you can use it for both within your questions as well as getting students to respond to the Google Forms using Moat. So the first thing you are gonna wanna do is go to your Moat. If you don't have Moat installed yet, you'll wanna go to the Chrome Web Store and get the extension installed. I'll include a link in the description below so you can do that for yourself. And you wanna come and make sure you're on version 0.0.9.7. If you're not, you can force your Moat extension to update. If you go up to your puzzle piece, go to manage extensions, and then you want to make sure you turn on the developer mode. So if you turn that on and click on update, it should update your Moat extension. And you'll see that down here in the corner, it'll show you if it's being updated or not. So let's dive into forms and see how this works. I'm just going to go forms.new to create a new Google form. And I'm just going to make this really quick and simple so that we can see what this looks like. So let's just ask, what is your name? So you can add your question. You can change the question type to whatever type you want. And then to add a audio to go along with your question, you're just going to click on the moat symbol. You would then say your prompt. So I might say, what is your name? When you're done recording, you're going to hit done. And it's going to add that down here as a moat link. And you'll see what it looks like once we finish up with our form. So let's just leave this form as one question here. And let's go to preview it. And so if you have the mode extension installed, it adds a little card right into your form. So you can click play. You can hear your note. OK, so you can hear your prompt. And then what you can do is if your students are then answering their Google form, instead of typing out an answer, they might type out, my answer is Rachel. Um, or they could go and click on the moat to record. So my name is Rachel Johnson. And then they hit done. OK, and it inserts another little card when they hit submit. So let's go back to our form now that we've created. We can then go in and see our responses. So you can see the responses here. It gives you a link to the moat. Or if you go and create a spreadsheet of your data, let's just do that really quickly, then all of the links to all of your moats are right in this spreadsheet here, and you can listen to them right in your Google Sheets. So this is really neat. You're able to go through and listen to a bunch of responses really, really quickly in your Google Forms. So that's a basic walkthrough of using Moat with Google Forms. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and this walkthrough and you are as excited about Moat being integrated into Forms as I am. If you are, I would really appreciate it if you could like this video, so subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this from our channel and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.